The Ford Bronco is back, and it was one of the hottest reveals of last year. And it's obviously targeted after the popular Jeep Wrangler. But if it wants to compete with the Wrangler, you'll have to be able to take off the doors and the roof. I'm Connor Hoffman with Car and & Driver, and we're here with a two-door 2021 Ford Bronco with a Sasquatch package, and we're gonna show you how to take off the doors and the roof. Let's get after it. All right, so first we're gonna start with the doors. So first, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna roll down the window. And then, unlike the Jeep Wrangler and Gladiator, the mirror actually stays on the vehicle. So we're gonna push it out to make some room to take off the door. And then we're gonna take the two bolts off. There's one under here and one here. To do that, we're gonna use the tool box that's in the glove box. Comes in this cool little Bronco case. All right, and then the last step is just to unplug this electrical plug. So then we're gonna put one hand underneath on here and our second hand on the door handle. And we're all good. So here is the two uh, door bolts here. And then here's where the electrical cord goes. So now onto the roof. This two door hardtop model has three roof panels that need to be removed. The four door hardtop has four. So first we're gonna start with this lever here, go down. And then we've got three more on this panel. Here, here, and here. And we're gonna pop it up here. And then we've got one off so far. So the driver's side panel has to come off first to get this passenger side one off. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Pop it up. And these are pretty light, which makes it easy. And now we've got two off. So now we're gonna take off the third piece of the roof, which is the shell on the back. So to do that, we're gonna open the trunk here, swing it out, lift this rear window. We've got our tool kit. So we've got these two cables here that we have to disconnect first. This one is the washer fluid. And this one is the defroster. And then they come over here, and there's a place to store them. Bring them around like that. All right, so now that that's done, there's four bolts on each side. There's three back here, one in the front. So you have the tool kit. Take these ones off. Like I said, there's three back here, already loosened up for us. Again, we've got this little pocket in the tool kit where we can store all of our nuts and bolts. So now all we have to do is just lift up the cap and take it off. I've got my friend Austin here, we're about to do it. So we're gonna lift up. Slide backwards. And we're all set. So now we've got all the doors and the roof off of this two door Badlands Bronco. All right, so now that we have the doors and the roof off of this two door Bronco, let's take a look at some of the other cool features. First off, there are Bronco logos everywhere. If you look, let's look here. The, these bolts that have Bronco etched into them, these ones, it shows where you can put added accessories from Ford. Here's one that's not actually on the bolt, but it gives you a little indication that says accessory ready. So this two-door Badlands model is equipped with a Sasquatch package. It adds these beefy 35-inch tires and these beadlock capable wheels. The Badlands is also equipped with Ford's Haas suspension. Haas stands for High Performance Off-Road Stability Suspension. And this Badlands also comes equipped standard with a hydraulic front sway bar disconnect. So up and inside the truck, we've got our GOAT modes, which is go over any type of terrain modes. So here's you just switch this for your drive modes. 
We've got four low, two high, and four high. We've got our hydraulic sway bar disconnect. We've got our front and rear locking differentials. And then this one is trail turn. We've got our traction control off, and then we have our hazard lights. Then up here, we've got six upfitter switches. There's tons of accessories you can add on it. Another cool thing is every Bronco has this plaque in the middle here. It says designed and engineered in Dearborn, Michigan, USA with the Ford logo. It says built at Michigan assembly plant. So on the shifter here, we've got a Bronco logo and then down below there's a little etched American flag, which is pretty cool. Another thing you can take off pretty easily are these big fender flares. There's just five switches on the inside. And then you just yank it off. Pretty easy to put back on too. Just line everything up again and then lock all those switches. Another cool little feature that we noticed, there's four tie down points back here. So if you want to tie down like a cooler, a cargo box or something like that when you're off-roading, there's a little lasso logo. There's these rubberized grab handles with the Bronco logo on them. Another thing you can do with the Bronco is you can take off the front fender and the quarter panel. So there's just some bolts on the back. The tools are included in the tool kit that comes with it. And you just have to unscrew all these bolts and then you can take it off. Now we have the majority of those bolts off. We have to take off this blind spot monitor here and access these last two back behind it. And we can take off this fender. So now we gotta take off the front fender. So to do that, we have to open the hood. In order to take the front fender off, we're gonna need to take off the grill as well. And there's four bolts here on the grill that we have to take off. So obviously you can do almost anything you want with the new Bronco. I mean, if you just look, we have about half of the truck on the floor right now. The two door and the four door will both be on sale this summer and we cannot wait to get behind the wheel and test its off-road capabilities.